so much talent on the British and Irish scene and we've tonight witnessed Chef Clark and Gary Cully giving us a glimpse into their respective futures and now it's the turn of Dalton Smith. The bell sounds then ahead of this, the second defence of his super lightweight title. So, so proud of that cherished belt. And earlier tonight, Sam Maxwell winning on points on the undercard. And the plan is for Smith to defend against Maxwell in Sheffield in April. But tonight, he's got to get it right against Billy Allington, first of all. Alongside me and Andy Lee here at ringside now, Carl Frotch and Carl for you the British title was also an important part of your pathway it certainly was and um, you mentioned there one more defense he gets to keep that lovely Lord Lonsdale belt outright which I've got on my mantelpiece at home one of my favorite belts so win here tonight we're getting a step close to owning that belt we just need to keep composed lovely jab there from Dalton Smith sharp and if you can get this win and then move on to Maxwell defend that title then it's onwards and upwards from there usually Towards world honors. I think what he's doing now for Anthony, from his point of view, it's not bad. He's posing a threat, he's staying ready in front of Dalton, he's not taking too much. And he'll, every now and then he'll, he'll come up with that left hook. Just like that. Dalton got to get busy with the jab, feints, more feints. Create an opportunity instead of trying to force one or, 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 or wait for one. Create it instead. Especially faint and jab, faint and jab. Good faint from Dalton Smith. the fighter here really wants to commit so there's not a great deal happening Dalton Smith coming forward looking for that over and right and left up but for me Allington needs to get behind that jab and start working and being busy he's not a puncher but he may be a bit over cautious of Dalton Smith's punching power because obviously the, the, the KO percentage record shows that the power lies with Dalton Smith here and Allington's maybe a little bit over cautious of that but if he's going to sit back he needs to sit back behind the jab and try and get combinations going even if it's just a double jab right hand down to the body then come back up with the left hook then get his head off he can't stand there and just be pushed around the ring Dalton Smith just backing him up putting him in the corners or putting him against the ropes and then he's able to just throw three or four shots and look like he's in control A big attack from Dalton Smith. And Allington, there. for the first time in the contest, is having to hold on. Just over 20 seconds to go in this the fourth round. Allington back up on his toes, but he was stunned by that attack from Dalton Smith. Finally, he certainly, he finally certainly his was. He really was. And as he got back up there, the right and the left foot really snapped the head back. And Allington there will be will be really feeling that and thinking. And again, good right hand there, nice and relaxed Smith behind that counter right hand. Great work. Dalton Smith now waiting for his opportunities. Well, Allenton pulling out there with his chin in the air, and that's just inviting that shot. The left hook will land a flush, and if that's followed up with a right hand, that could be the end, end of the contest because we know Smith can punch. Allenton needs to be busy with that jab and, and get off to the side and try and just put some kind of work together. But I'm impressed with the way Dalton Smith is just taking charge of the centre of that ring. He looks in control. He looks. He looks solid, strong, nice tight defence. He's not really wasting anything. And he's almost poised for an attack. And you wonder when that attack comes, what effect he's going to have on Allenton and whether or not he can sustain that, um, that beating. Because at the end of that last round, he had a go, Smith. And um, it was a successful session. And a hurtful looking one for Allenton. He just can't seem to get anything going, Allenton. Allington has been 10 rounds twice, never been the full championship distance, which Smith was taken last time by Casey Benjamin. Dalton Smith there, just, just loading up with a left hook and a right hook. And start to settle down and sit down on your feet and, and just take shots for granted. And you'll miss, and all of a sudden you're in a hard fight, so he needs to stay focused, Dalton Smith. 
because Allenton's still in there firing back. Yeah, it's been a good end to the round from Allenton. He's made Smith miss and he's landed a couple of decent shots himself. Solid left hand to the body in that latest exchange from Smith and follows up with a smart right hand at last, landing with that right hand. Yeah, it's been tidy work for Smith. Nice body shots, a couple of nice hooks to the body, and he's come back upstairs, finished on the head, and he's he's not wasting anything. Oh, good left hook. Brilliant work by Dalton Smith, finding his range with the left hook, and down goes Billy Allington with well over two minutes to go in this the eighth round. Corden coming now out now. of the clinch, Corden coming out of the clinch, Mike. Yeah, he switched off there, momentarily backed up, left his chin out to dry, and uh, Dalton Smith rightly so hit him with that left hook. There's a chance here now for Dalton Smith to really close, close the show. Talking about a fight with Maxwell, really stamp his authority and show that he belongs at this level and beyond. Beautiful counter punches. Yeah, Same left hook, up, left up hook up. on the way, and then an uppercut to finish. Quality work there from Smith. I always like to see fighters finish a lot. If they've got their opponent going, get in there and finish them, but it's not always the right tactic. I mean, Smith is taking no damage, he's, he's in control, he's getting rounds in the bank, so why not just work and pick your shots? And I just think if you've got a chance to get your opponent out of there, you're better off doing it because you can get caught with an elbow, you can get caught with a cut, but um, he's just so confident and relaxed, he's just taking his time. And again, a lovely one of those right uppercuts over on the far side of the ring, Andy. Allington again charging into the fray and into potential danger. But Smith on that occasion didn't find the timing to make him pay. Heads come on dangerously close again there. I think you're right, Allenton still fancies it, he's still in there, he's showing a lot of bravery and um, you know, he just doesn't look like I've got any quit in him. It'd be an absolute nightmare to fight as well, he's got a lot of movement, he's ungainly, he switches around, his footwork, bobs and weaves, he's, he's bounced on his toes and then he ducks low and then he throws a couple of awkward shots. But Smith's got the strength to sort of pin him in the corner, get hold of him and just push him back down and work and go again. That's why I said at the end of that last round, I want to see another gear from Dalton Smith. I want to see him step it up because when he steps it up in class, he's going to need to do that in stages. And if he's if he's got world title as an world titles as an ambition, which I'm sure he has, he will need to be able to go through the gears. And even in round 11, where we are now, and round 12, sometimes you need to get that stoppage because if you if it's close or you're behind on points, sometimes you need to press it forward and finish strong. And we want to see them qualities in with him now in a British level. Draws and roars in the corner from those beneath him for Dalton Smith, but Allington, even at this late stage, was clever enough to take most of those shots on the gloves in that corner. 12 rounds last time against Casey Benjamin for. Dalton Smith and 12 again this time. As he lands another one of those solid left hooks. And a roar of approval from Dan and Trainer Grant in the corner. 12 quality rounds though in the bank here for Dalton Smith as he steps up and looks towards the future to step it up in levels. This this will serve him well. Switching late on to the southpaw stance, dying seconds of his second defence of the British Super Lightweight title against the very game, very brave Billy Allington, who's punching to the end and almost landed a solid left hook of his own right on the bell as Dalton Smith comes through with an ultimately impressive performance here, albeit not getting it done inside the distance.
Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds, we go to the judges' score totals. Kevin Parker, 120-107. Michael Alexander and Howard Foster both have it, 119-108. to All three for your winner, a unanimous decision. He's still undefeated and still the British Super Lightweight Champion, Dalton.